Hello, I'm Vitreus, and I'm going to start the long journey to defeat the Wicked Dragon today. But, apparently the other guy is running late, so I have enough time to cover level 3. Let's get started. Where we're going today. Today we're gonna follow the river that we ended on last time. Up a water hill and to a giant bat. Okay, the bats are bosses now, you probably should realize that. Alright, first area is the caverns. Filled with bats. Of course. And hearts. Now I've been told in the Japanese version of the game that the water dripping from the ceiling is actually supposed to be acid. I don't have the Japanese version of the game. I don't even have it on the emulator. So, uh, we're going with this version. So it's water. The bats in this segment are annoying. As they are in every segment. Actually, I can kind of see the placement of some of these water drops being annoying too. You can go to the left to get a lot of hearts. And I think the axe. Very helpful if you're playing this game normally. A lot of mud men creatures in this. And one of them drops a giant heart. Gotta watch out for that. The green spikes are instant death. I followed on them a couple times. And these falling pillars would be a threat, except... Okay, never mind. One of them is a threat. You can generally walk right underneath them and they won't react until you're far enough away from them. Alright, now into block 3-2, the waterfall. Um, how well do you guys remember Kid Icarus? Because that's the closest thing I can say to this level, this area. As you go up, the floor doesn't. So, if you fall, and there's a platform a pixel beneath the edge, you die. It's a nice mechanic I thought died with the NES. But, Konami decided to reuse it. Luckily, the platforming in this area isn't anything too hard. It can still trip you up if you don't know what you're doing, but... It's nothing that you're gonna wanna rack your brains with. That bat spawns way too late. Most of the enemies in this level can be taken care of before you even have to deal with them. Only these green spiky furball things can't be killed. Anyway, climb up the waterfall and we'll head to the last area. The Flooded City. And the Flooded City... is... horrendous. I hate this area. Well, first thing to remember is there's only four of those little bricks that try to fall upon you. Second thing that the mermen are annoying. Also water is instant death. Ow. Minor thing to also remember, bone dragons, or whatever these things are called, they die, they burst into hearts. We got the timing done on that and everything. Awesome! And there's like six of them. And I just stood for that. Alright. Ah! Ooh! Survived. Kill the eyeball monster. And here's the part where the mermen are gonna kill you.
Oh god, come on! There we are. Minor fear that I might need the upgraded whip on that one. Because I believe it adds more length to it. Alright. Another thing I don't like about this, it's all one block, so, uh... You gotta get through this area. Perfectly. Needless to say, this is when the game decides to stop being easy. Yeah, this is still block 3-3. Oh wow, that one nicely did not burst into hearts. This is not this is another Kid Icarus room, by the way. Oh god. I believe you can get one more pot roast eventually. Come on! Move a little your head a little closer to my whip. There we are. Whoa! That burst into a lot of hearts. There's another bird. Oh god, the birds! God, I hope the birds don't kill me. Well, we're getting kind of close to I'm gonna die. Oh, but chicken leg. Saved by the chicken leg. But maybe not, because here's where the boss comes in. The boss of the stage decides to flood the entire room. Actually, that fills up pretty quickly. Yeah. The boss of the stage is the Orphic Vipers. Two snake-like things that could be a real threat, but aren't. First of all, pay attention to which head does what. The one that fires three fireballs is the one you want to kill first. Because the one that only has that small purple flame can't reach you on the back set. Oh god, I'm getting killed here. God, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Whoop. Much like most two-headed enemies, when you kill one enough, they fall into death. But the other head will live. Awesome, we killed the right head. I got this with one bar to go. What, you don't have a ranged attack and your body's not long enough to get me? Sounds like a problem, dude. One I don't care to help you with. Be nice. Put your head next to my whip. Come on. There we are. With the Orphic Vipers dead, level 3 is done. Collect the orb and move on to level 4. Not without some scars, though, to show for it. Couple. Okay, a lot of bloopers on this one. And here's what level 4 is. A giant tower. That'll be fun. Alright, I clearly hated parts of this level, so let's get this over with. Um, Vitreus, a moment of your time. I have someone here I need to introduce you to. God dang it, what now? I am Vladimir, I am here to assist you in catching the dragon. Oh, nice, I'm uh, almost done with this. Uh, we can leave just after I finish this. What are you doing? I just have to finish my web show. It'll be about five minutes. Does this happen often? Uh, every now and then, but never at the consistency anyone wants. What? Uh, more than you and many people would like, but not as often as he would want. Can we continue here? Fine, carry on. Alright. 
As I started to say earlier, we got a good deal of bloopers, so let's get through this. Ooh, money! Aha, not worth it. Okay, avoid the heart, pick up some more money. Alright, jump over at the right time, and or not at all. Now in this part, there are falling items, which I just love to run into. Alright, now jump over here, and take out this giant eye. Come on, or let it kill me. But... Alright, take out the Yoon. Keep go underneath it, I guess. And, well, not much to say there. And I'm finally back up to the falling items, and let's see that I haven't learned anything. Okay, into the last area, the moat. Up here and, aha, kiss the fish. Okay, now this dragon snake thingy can go down pretty easily. But it does burst into hearts, so I might want to be more cautious of that. Climb the stairs and quickly die to that thing. Alright, almost out of here. Kill the giant eye, swing over the ledge, and ah! Did not know that could happen! Now I know. Alright, let's try this again. Dang, that was a good shot! Aha! Takes care of them. And just a heart, and let's swing over, and oh god. Alright, jump down, and ah! Haven't used this clip in a while. Missed it by that much. <laughs> Alright, swing over. Okay, gotta be careful here because- Ah! Aha! Still alive! Drat! Alright, let's go. Come on, hook on! And I overshot that. Okay, back to the moat. Down to the last area here. Okay, I cannot screw this up again. Then again! Alright, one more time at this moat thing. Feel a lot better if these fishmen weren't here. Alright, what? How'd they hit? Oh, drat. Drat! Level 3, for lack of a better word, is more annoying than hard. The waterfall and the cavern segments are nothing tremendously dangerous. Well, the waterfall can be. It's the sunken city or the moat where you're going to get killed a lot. Um, so I'm actually going to get this level of four, and mostly for that last area. The boss, however, the Orphic Vipers... How do I put this? Um, you know the sea serpent from My Little Pony? Well, if you don't, I have a clip, actually. Well, I don't know. I was just sitting here, minding my own business, when this tacky little cloud of purple smoke just to whisk past me and tore half of my beloved mustache clean off. And now, I look simply horrid. Oh. Yeah, he is more dangerous than the Orphic Vipers. I have to give him a one. It's a big fault that only one of them has a ranged projectile that can hit you. And even than that, it's not that dangerous. The worst enemy in this game, for creepiness right now in this level, I'm going to give it to the Merman. They are annoying. They're very good at shooting you right off platforms. And then again, they've been doing that mostly since the start of the Castlevania series. So nothing new here. Alright, I'm ready to get started. That's good, since you got some catching up to do. What? He already left? W w when? Oh, roughly when you began the blooper segments. Well, get Starman, I need to catch up. Starman? Oh, he left when you actually began the show. So, uh, yeah, he's way ahead. What? Drat! Uh, gotta go. Um, I will see you all next time, but first, here's a sneak preview of what that will be. Bye!